Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Imam Umar Subir are here once again in Tafsir in 5. Today, inshallah, we're going to be looking at the final portion of the final verse of Surah Al-Fatiha, specifically the Dhanin. Uh, this is a group of people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed us to ask Him to steer us clear uh, from following the footsteps of. And we want to understand who these people are. Our beloved Prophet wasallam has identified them as the Nasara, which we pointed out in the previous video. And we want to understand what these people did due to which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described them as such. For this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah An-Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 171, where he's addressing this community with the words, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, La taghlu fi deenikum wa la taqulu ala Allahi illa al-haq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them that do not exaggerate things in their religion. Do not say things which are untrue out of extreme love or out of extreme admiration. And only speak the truth about Allah. Wa la taqulu ala Allahi illa al-haq. If you want to say anything about Allah, make sure it's accurate. Now, what was going on in this particular community when it comes to the Nasara, they were ascribing divinity to other entities. They were extending divinity which is exclusive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the creation. And particularly when it comes to the Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, you had one of three notions that were developed that either Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is God in person, or Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is part of a trinity, or Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is the begotten son of God. And in all cases, Divinity is being ascribed to Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. And this is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is disapproving of. But since they were committed to this, and at the same time, uh, they were steadfast on these beliefs, this belief itself is what had steered them clear from the Sirat al-Mustaqim, made them exit uh, the Sirat al-Mustaqim, due to which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has now categorized them as the Dhanin. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them that don't, don't say things which are inaccurate. Don't make things up. And he also clarifies after that, إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَةُ Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, if you want to know his position, he is simply, as he is saying, مَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ He is simply Allah's messenger and the word of Allah. And how is he the word of Allah? He's created by the word of Allah which was casted in his mother, Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam. And he is created, as Allah says in another verse, إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَىٰ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمْ خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تُرَابْ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ Isa alayhi salatu wasalam's example is like that of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam who Allah had created from dirt. But what's the commonality between these two? Allah said to them, be and they were. And that's why Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is known as the word of Allah, the kalima of Allah. So if there's anything we want to say about anyone, it should be accurate. And if we're not going to say accurate things, then it's going to now put us on the path of deviation, something that we do not want to obviously uh, experience in any shape or form. So hence, this brings this particular surah, which we've covered in quite a few videos, uh, to an end, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that these videos serve as a means for us to develop a stronger connection with Him, a greater appreciation for Him, and at the same time, uh, give us the ability to continuously connect with His Word, avail from it, and thus acquire Jannah through it. Until next time, Jazakallah khair, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.